How many pieces of fried chicken do you think you could eat? Not this many. <laughs> I don't think anybody needs to eat this many. Let's <laughs> let's be honest. Joel Ants here on a very windy day in Sioux Falls. Yes, Sioux Falls, South Dakota at the Keg Chicken. Let's, uh, let's go in here. It's really, really windy. All right, that's a little bit better. I had a very windy day, very cold day too. It's like 30 degrees out here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, guys. My first time in South Dakota and my first time going to attempt a food challenge in South Dakota. Pretty dang cool. So again, we are at the Keg doing their fried chicken challenge. This is a very well-known fried chicken challenge. You can either do it with traditional bone-in chicken, or you can do it with chicken tenders. So the uh, chicken tenders, it's two pounds of chicken tenders if you go with that. And if you go with the bone-in chicken, it's 16 pieces. I think the bone-in is the most traditional. That's what I'm going to go with. And the only uh, person to complete the bone-in version of the fried chicken challenge was Randy Santel. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, you also have a pound of fries with the challenge. You have two sides. Uh, if you complete the meal, you do get it for free. And if you do not, you pay the 54-ish dollars for the challenge. Uh, if you want to come try it, you do need to give them a little bit of advance notice. Um, but that being said, my first attempt for a challenge in South Dakota, I believe this is challenge 421 we're going for. I hope So hopefully we'll be able to do that. Um, huge thanks to everybody who came out. There's quite a few individuals who came out to watch, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, guys, so cool to be in South Dakota. Didn't know I'd be here, but this is a fried chicken challenge. Actually, I've seen um, and been following for a long time. So when I was in the area, I knew I definitely wanted to try it out and I'm glad I'm finally getting to. So I love fried chicken. Um, like I said, one pound of fries with it. Oh, and you have to have two sides. You have two sides as well. You can do beans, coleslaw, or potato salad. Uh, I'm probably going to do like double coleslaw if I can. Uh, but anyway, so let's head on in and have some seats of food. And uh, yeah, guys, so South Dakota, let's get eating. All right, everyone, so here we are with the challenge. Looks very, very delicious. So the 16 pieces of fried chicken. We have the one pound of fries. It's in two baskets. Then I have two sides. I did go with the double coleslaw. Very big, creamy, but delicious looking coleslaw. So fun fact about this place. So not only has it been here for like 43 years, but this recipe actually was bought from a gentleman in Europe. So it's like a European recipe. Just look at this chicken, guys. It looks super super delicious super crispy like ooh, hoo, 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 I'm excited um, I do of course have some ketchup you know I'm all about that ketchup life I have some uh, hot sauce I have a little bit of their signature spicy honey garlic which they say is very popular I have some Caribbean as well so some different sauces I'm um, again uh, 45 minutes pretty sure four besides that um, I could actually remove the chicken meat from the bones as it doesn't actually really start till you like break into it um, and like eat it I guess but I'm just gonna leave it on the bone I think that's kind of the more you know I'll call it traditional way to do it but that's about that so uh, we'll get started here just momentarily this chicken looks delicious and I mean for it to be around for you know 40 some years it definitely has to be I've heard it's very juicy so we got lots of juicy breasts and juicy legs thighs just saying just saying I do like juicy breasts and thighs chicken breasts of course um, so how about we get started um, we'll say at the well I'm ready restaurant is ready cool and I got all my sauces guys I do have a big pile of ketchup and hot sauce over here for dipping and all that action I'm probably gonna start with a bite of chicken and then probably some coleslaw and all the above oh and huge thanks everybody who came out guys appreciate it. we got a good showing here So, how about we get started? Let's say the count of uh, five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Ooh, Ooh isn't that crunch? Oh, There's some juicy chicken. Wow. Thank you. That's not even it's not even a 4D a 3D crunch, that's a 4D crunch. Very good flavor. Mm. 
And in their words, they had 43 years to perfect this recipe. It's on point. Wow, that crunch. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we are here at the keg. Yes, the keg in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, taking on this awesome fried chicken challenge. Oh my gosh, all I can say is this was so amazing, so good. I absolutely love fried chicken, and this was just delicious, crispy, juicy, moist, succulent fried chicken. The chicken is fire. Let's try this coleslaw. Mmm, yeah, guys. So creamy. I think there's like maybe apple in it or something. Mm. Love the flavor. I love coleslaw. There's some good coleslaw. Alright, it's uh ooh, that is a juicy crispy breast. Let's get into this. Try some ketchup. Very good. So we had the 16 pieces of fried chicken, all the fries, the sides. Um, again, we were in the quest for a free meal and a t-shirt. Um, challenge had been completed only a couple of times, I think maybe three. Um, having two or three winners completing the variation of the challenge with chicken tenders, and then only one uh, completing this variation with the bone-in chicken. So you can get the, uh, again, there's two variations, you can get one with t chicken tenders, so again, literally the chicken tenders plus the fries plus the sides, or this version which is the bone-in plus the fries plus the sides. Um, I love fried chicken, I think you gotta go with the real stuff. So if you do the version with the bones, it definitely is a little more complex. Takes a little more time, but well worth it. Here's some hot sauce and ketchup action, guys. Mm. Oh yeah, that is my favorite. Can't beat it. Louisiana style hot sauce and ketchup. But that's actually an interesting point. Um, you know, let me know down below. Do you prefer chicken tenders? or bone-in fried chicken. I'll just call it fried chicken. So do you prefer tenders or fried chicken? Let me know down below because I'm a big fried chicken person and even though I'm sure these tenders would have been great, they were just like a battered breast and that batter was so, so, so good. I gotta say, I really, really do like some good old classic fried chicken. And yes, I am cleaning the bone. There's a really cool history about this place. So um, it is a fourth generation uh, family run restaurant which is absolutely crazy to think about like three or fourth generation so there was a grandfather or a great grandfather who bought a ch fried chicken recipe from Europe and then he brought it to America to which then you know from you know the last three generations they've essentially been you know selling chicken over you know over like 40 something years and i gotta say they have perfected this they got the technique down and oh it's so good yeah like i said people you don't have to be quiet but well it's uh how can i say it's uh dinner in the show right i gotta say though the fried chicken is really good I did go with the coleslaw for my sides. I like a bit of fiber, but I could have went with like potato salad, for example. Um, there's a couple options. Uh, the french fries are standard. They are mandatory. It was supposed to be one pound. They just apparently put them in the two dishes. Um, they had a variety of different sauces as well. If you go, definitely try their Caribbean sauce. That was absolutely amazing. They had a really, really good um, homemade ranch as well, and that's coming from somebody who's not a big ranch fan. And then I absolutely just love a traditional ketchup and hot sauce on my fried chicken. Um, besides that, I think it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, at that we'll get to the rest of the video. Hey, if you like it so far, hit that like button. It definitely helps the video out. 
comment down below. You know, I love to read that. And at that, ultimately, let's tune on in. Let's see what happens and see if we can eat these whopping, yes, this whopping 16 pieces of fried chicken, two whole chickens with all the fries, all the sides. Like I said, we're going big, we're going home. So at that, let's get to the rest of the video. By the way, we're about six minutes in. Delicious, everybody. Love it. Oh, yeah. Good sized breast, too, guys. Whew. Definitely delicious. Just trying to get off that bone. Like I said, that ketchup hot sauce, guys. Mm. My favorite combo. So good. And there's Caribbean sauce. Very good also. I can't believe how crunchy that chicken is. I'll tell you that much. But I think I got um, two legs and two thighs left. It's about 12 pieces of ammo. Who would have thought that South Dakota got such good fried chicken? Amazing. And last piece. Woo! I gotta say, I would go for seconds. They actually have a, a lunch buffet here, and I'm very jealous I don't live here because I would be here every day. Well, almost every day. To be honest, I wish I had more of that fried chicken. That was dang good. Probably about mm, 10 and a half minutes in, I think. Yeah, I have a timer there, roughly. Guys, delicious. All right, anyway, get rid of these here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Com compliments to the chefs, that's what that means. And I, I, really, guys, I would have, like, I would do all this again. Fried chicken is this is just bomb. Get rid of some of this uh, coleslaw, but man, mm. all of the flavors are just too good. All right, everybody, we are about 13 minutes in. I am, I'm actually disappointed there's no more fried, like I would I would have more of that fried chicken. That was the, it's so good. I can't believe how crispy it is. To be honest, I think jamming it into my face, I even might have cut myself. It's just like amazing though. I really, really like the chicken. They say it's a Sioux Falls staple, I understand why. Now we got some French fries. I'm gonna whip up this ketchup and hot sauce plate. Normally I don't have ketchup and hot sauce together with my fries, and it's just ketchup, but it's already here. And solid french fry. All I can say is what an enjoyable experience, guys. Enjoyable challenge.
and we are done. Woo! Woo! Thank you, thank you. Somewhere about, I want to say, 1620-ish, maybe something like that. Thank you, thank you. Guys, first off, shout out South, South Dakota. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. My experience here has been so awesome. Again, I've literally been in this state for, I don't know, an hour? Yeah, something like that. And I'm already, I'm, I'm in love. The people are amazing, guys. The fried chicken is fire, straight fire, guys. Super, super, super good. I mean, I always associate fried chicken with the South. But this is 10 out of 10. Apparently, they're also known for the chicken gizzards, which is, for some people, might sound strange, but maybe I'll get one to try. I, I, I don't mind gizzards at all. I like them, actually. So I'll try a gizzard. And what's this other South Dakota specialty you mentioned? Then there's something called chislick, which I guess is either a deep fried beef or a lamb. Again, a very South Dakota thing. Apparently, it's literally just dry, like frying a piece of beef or frying a piece of lamb in little like steak cubes. So, I mean, while in the area, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it while I'm here. They're known for it, but I and if it's even half as good as this fried chicken, gotta say, absolutely delicious. So I thought we do get the meal for free, which is pretty cool. Um, is there t-shirts or anything like that? And I and I get a free t-shirt. Wow, guys. So at that, again, huge thanks to all the staff here. Huge thanks to everybody who came out to watch. This was super delicious. You definitely stop and buy here for some fried chicken. Don't have to do the challenge. Just come enjoy it. I see why people have been coming here for decades, and I would as well. So and that everyone, until next time, of course, say happy out the hungry, happy eating. And uh, everyone, so what I have here, because I, I absolutely have to try this. So here we have the... Chislick, so it is literally like little deep fried steak bites with salt and pepper on it. Now this is a very, very, very exclusive thing they said to Sioux Falls area, not even necessarily the whole of South Dakota. Um, so I'm gonna give this a shot. They have these with beef here. I guess traditionally sometimes it's with mutton or lamb, but we'll give it a shot. I mean, it smells salt, pepper. And you know what? It tastes just like I thought it would. It is deep fried pieces of beef, salt, pepper. It's good. I mean, it's steak. I like steak. I like cows. This whole area, I mean, is really like, you know, kind of known for cows. I mean, also, you know, sex like, that section's not sex. Sections like uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Oh. And they, they have this house-made ranch, which is apparently really popular. They told me to try it with everything, so. All right, I gotta say, usually I'm not the biggest ranch fan. This is really good. Mm, that dill, mm, okay. So chislick, good by itself, good with ranch, probably good with hot sauce, let's give it a shot. Good with hot sauce, I think it goes well with anything. And then, I got a few of these ch chicken gizzards. So, I've had gizzards in the South. I've never had one in South Dakota, believe it or not. Um, so we'll give it a shot. So gizzards, if you're not familiar, it's kind of a, usually there's a bit of a bite to it. You know, a little crunchy bit, but let's give it, let's give it a shot. Nice and hot. It's good. It's really good. Mm. Great texture. You get a really nice, like, it's almost like a crunch, pop bite. Very, very good. Hot, though. But very good. I tried in the ranch since I remember. That is good. Um, actually, that's real. All right, your ranch is actually really good. I gotta say, <laughs> the ranch is great. I see why pe they said people dip everything in it. And again, I was like ranch, but it's really good. And I'll try it in the hot sauce because I think fried chicken and hot sauce goes well. Fried gizzard and hot sauce go well. Mmm. Oh yeah. Woo. Delicious. Mm. All right. Well, everybody, 
awesome. So I'm gonna try the South Dakota Sioux Falls unique item chislick. It was good. The fried gizzards are bomb, just as good as the fried chicken. And uh, yeah, like I said, really cool place. Definitely stop them by. I appreciate you guys. Check out Julie's.com. Grab yourself some merch. And that's it. The keg. Don't miss out. Come on by. They have two locations too. So and tell them I said hi. Till next time. Hey everyone, we made it to Sioux Falls. Sioux Falls in South Dakota. My first time in South Dakota. My first time in Sioux Falls, obviously. And here we're at Falls Park, which is one of the most well-known, um, we'll say like destinations or uh, sites to be seen, touristic sites. So it's really cool already. I'm literally just walking up to it. I'm seeing it for the first time. And this is like, what the heck? Look at this. It's like some crazy waterfall. It looks like it'd be like out in the middle of the wilderness, the mountains. Admittedly, South Dakota is pretty wild. South Dakota is known for, uh, I don't remember what they're called, whatever mountain, Mount Rushmore with all the presence faces in it. Well, that's like six hours away. We're not gonna get to see that, but this is really, really cool. And I don't know, wow. Just like, look at that. I'm gonna show you a little better detail, but it really is. I mean, it's called Sioux Falls, and I guess it's not the Sioux River, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, wow. That is, uh, that's super cool. So let's try to have a peek at this real quick. this very famous art or arc it's called the arc of dreams so pretty cool and at night it is lit up so there you go gonna see the arc of dreams another kind of big sight in sioux falls Warrior, too